First off, a quick summary of this video. As the list shows, there is a description of the main components that make up a television, followed by a description of digital TV. It mentions why February the 17th, 2009 is important. The remaining part of the video gives detailed information about the digital converter box. The first main component is the transmission tower that transmits the video and audio signals. The second component is the tuner which includes the antenna and the electronics that interpret the signal that is received. The third component is the display, an essential component to be able to see the TV signals that are received. Together the tuner and the display make up the television set. What's the difference between analog and digital TV signals? TV signals that come from an analog transmission tower can only be received by televisions that have an analog tuner. A digital television cannot receive analog TV signals. By the same token, only a digital TV can receive TV signals that come from a digital TV transmission tower. An analog TV cannot receive digital TV signals. Analog TV signals are for analog TVs and digital TV signals are for digital TVs. In general, there are two types of digital TV, standard definition and high definition. Standard definition displays the image inside a grid that is 720 points horizontally and 480 points vertically. The points are known as pixels. This is what is called the resolution of the image. On the other hand, high definition displays the image in a grid with more horizontal and vertical pixels. For example, 1920 pixels across and 1080 pixels down. This is not the only resolution that can be called high definition. High definition means more resolution and that in turn means a sharper image. Why is February the 17th, 2009 a special date? Before this date, analog transmission towers will be transmitting analog TV signals and analog TVs will be receiving them. But on February the 17th, 2009, they will stop transmitting. What will happen to the analog TVs? Since there will not be any more analog TV signals being transmitted, the analog TVs won't be able to receive anything. Only the digital TV signal will be transmitted, but as was mentioned, analog TVs won't be able to receive these new signals. Now what do I do? If my analog TV can't receive anything, what options do I have? Basically, there are three options. The first is to buy a digital TV. This is the simplest solution, but also the most expensive. The second option is to sign up for cable or satellite TV. The third option is to buy a digital converter box. The rest of this video will discuss this third option. How does a digital converter box work? The transmission tower sends the digital TV signals. The converter box contains a digital TV tuner that receives the digital signals. The box converts these digital signals to analog and sends them off to the analog TV. In fact, the analog tuner in the television will no longer be used to tune in to channels because there will be no signal. Well, if the TV's tuner will no longer be used to tune in to channels, how will channels be selected with the converter box? We already saw that the converter box receives the digital signals and converts them to analog. The majority of these boxes come with their own remote control. Channels are selected using this remote control. The analog TV must always be on the same channel, usually three. The converter box sends the analog signal to the TV using this channel. Reading the user's guide is recommended to determine the exact process. Where do I get a converter box? Most stores that sell electronics should sell these. Here is a model sold at Circuit City. Here is another converter box sold by Radio Shack. Best Buy also has a few models. And of course, Walmart also does. Note that the price oscillates between $60 and $70. I should mention that this information is from August 25th of 2008. Now let's talk about the coupons. The federal government is giving away coupons worth $40 towards the purchase of a digital converter box. This means that if the converter box costs $60, with the coupons, it will cost $20, plus the sales tax corresponding to the original $60. The following has to be taken into consideration regarding the coupons. 
They will be available from January 1st, 2008 till March 31st of 2009 or while supplies last. Each household can request up to two coupons, but these can't be combined. The coupons expire 90 days after they are mailed to the household that requested them. Expired coupons will not be replaced. Verify that the store where you plan to buy the converter box accepts these coupons. Most of them do, but there may be some that don't. To request the coupons, point your browser to www.dtv2009.gov. Click on the Request Coupons link, fill out the form with the requested information, and lastly click on the Submit button. Let's see how this is done with an example.